Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be taking a look at all of the different methods that you can use to cloud game your way onto Fortnite Mobile in 2024. Because, well, it's been like over three years since these methods were first released, and I want to see what improvements have been made. So let's go ahead and jump into things. Now, starting things off, we are probably on the most famous cloud gaming platform, that being NVIDIA GeForce Now. And currently, we have the free version of the app, meaning no subscription, no paid version. And well, what happens when you try to launch a game is it says looking for the next available rig. And this is, keep in mind, I believe a Monday afternoon at two o'clock East Coast Standard Time. And because it's my full-time job to sit around and do nothing, I actually waited. And it took me three hours to sit through a 200-person queue. But because I had waited so long, by the time I came back, it had kicked me out of my rig for inactivity and made me look for another available rig. So basically, if you're free to play NVIDIA GeForce Now, there's just no way you're ever going to play Fortnite Mobile ever again. So we're going to revisit this in a second when we get the paid version. And so that brings us to the next method to play Fortnite Mobile via a cloud gaming service. And that is with the Xbox cloud gaming service. Now this one, there is only a free method. You don't even need to have an Xbox subscription. This is a free account. I don't even think I pay for an Xbox subscription on this thing anymore. We're going to go and boot it up and see if there is a wait time. I don't even know if there's a wait time. I really hope there isn't because that would be insane if there is. The last time I checked during the Fortnite OG season, there was around a four hour wait time. And let's see, are we gonna get a server? Oh, we're in. Okay, so it looks like if you're free to play, Xbox Cloud Gaming is the way to go. I will say from my experience, the graphics and the input delay isn't as good as NVIDIA GeForce Now, but hey, I'd rather play right here right now than wait three hours. All right, we're in game here. Let's do a little bit of build practice now. What is this, dude? Who's talking to me? Shut up. Okay, this is way better than I remember it being. As you see by the FPS counter, we're still only getting 60 FPS. But this input delay is not bad at all. The ping is not bad at all. It really feels like zero ping. At least in terms of like the actual in-game FPS. I mean, obviously, I mean, I, honestly, the input delay is really, it's not amazing. But I'm sure with sensitivity tweaking and really sitting down for like half an hour i could probably nail things but as an ipad player you guys see the bars at the top and the bottom i can't fix that it's just permanently stuck at the 16 by 9 aspect ratio so if you're a phone player you probably won't even know this exists but as an ipad player there's no way for me to get around this but honestly xbox cloud gaming kind of thooming right now the only thing when it comes to cloud gaming is like building is fine but i want to see how is it aiming and shooting because if you can't kill anyone in fortnite well that kind of defeats the whole purpose of, <laughs> of actually playing the dang game. So let's see, how does this shape up? And I mean, you do get the bonus of like, well, I don't know, is this RTX or like, I don't know what graphics are, but these are sure as heck better than Android graphics. The quality, because you're streaming the gameplay, isn't phenomenal, but like the lighting, the shadows, I mean, the textures is all arguably way crisper, way cleaner than Android or anything iOS might be able to offer. Hey, I might have been wrong. I might have been wrong. Xbox Cloud Gaming might just be Himothy right now. Wow. No wait time. Actually decent performance. This is with like a pretty janky HUD. Just really rough sensitivity settings. Just, just kind of throwing something together. Obviously, my mechanics are going to be pretty washed. Because again, my HUD is not dialed in. And I'm playing on like a phone aspect ratio. Oh, shoot, dude. But there is lots of potential in this. If you guys are going to go for any service free to play at least i would say definitely give this a go i am gonna try Am okay amazon luna okay that's a bush just kidding oh Oh, shoot. We're going to try Amazon Luna, but I have low hopes because the last time I tried that, that thing absolutely sucked. But maybe it's gotten better. Actually, dude, I don't even know if it's worth trying because this thing is so much better. Jeez. Or at least so much better than it used to be. I mean, it is 60 FPS, but like you're getting 60 FPS. So all in all, if I had to rate this, considering it's free to play, considering you don't have to download anything on your device, it takes a second to sign up for. Dude, eight out of 10, eight and a half, nine out of, dare I say it, nine out of 10, the only thing as an iPad 
player aspect ratio kind of wonky and there's like a lack of customization in terms of settings compared to Nvidia GeForce Now but you I, I can't even give Nvidia GeForce Now a rating as a free to play player it gets a 0 out of 10 because you can't even play it as a free to play player I say 9 out of 10 for Xbox this thing you would maybe have gotten last year a 5 out of 10 now it's getting a, a 9 out of 10 jeez and because this is a brand new account if I wanted to this is probably a full on bot lobby and I could win the game would we have a lot more testing to do so unfortunately oh this isn't even gonna kill me yep on to the next test now we're on to the last free platform that, that I know of, Fortnite on Amazon Luna. Now this is Amazon's cloud gaming service. And okay, I think this might be the same aspect ratio. Can't really tell. We are skilled piranha, six, two, one. We can start a broadcast. Okay, we can live stream this. I like it. Again, no wait time. Very cool. Oh, does this mean I have to make a new HUD? Are we gonna have to do this or no? Well, maybe not because we logged into an account I already have. The quality looks, I think, better than Xbox. Yeah, the quality looks way better than Xbox. This would be the turnaround of the century because Amazon Cloud Luna last time was like a 1 out of 10. Literal lag spikes, literal stuttering, maybe 30 FPS. So if this somehow is no queue times, insane FPS, insane graphics, that would just be hilarious because that would be the complete role reversal from last time where NVIDIA GeForce Now was just the goat oh no dude i mean it can look good but if it's laggy oh i'm seeing a little bit of stuttering already that's not good oh it's uh it's what's up with this hud bro what the no my huds are gone you're trolling i have like a million huds on this account what now it looks way better way 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 better but the input delay i don't even know if this is it says again 60 fps but i play a lot of mobile games i don't think this is 60 fps but but time to make another heads up display for the millionth time on this game. Give me a second, guys. All right, so we have a HUD created. It only took me 15 minutes because my HUD is super complicated. And if, whoa, that's weird. I just stopped moving. If I suck, it's probably not because of the game. It's probably because of my HUD. But yeah, I will say the, it's just the, what, what the, why am I st I'm just stopping moving? What is happening? Yeah, this, this looks so much, whoa. Okay, so right now I have my fingers on the screen. I I'm moving, I'm pressing buttons, but nothing is happening. I have to take all of my hands off my screen and then put them back on. And then it happened, what is, oh my gosh. So the game has some sort of weird touch registration issue where I don't think Amazon was expecting people like myself to play with seven fingers on their games. Again, it just stops, it freezes, it breaks. It, what? Okay, so I can't even do a free build. And I'm obviously, I mean, I'm a seven finger player. I'm, I'm a very advanced Fortnite player. But even if this wasn't happening with, I, I can't even play. I can't even free build. The graphics are really impressive. But so maybe if you're a controller player, this this would be the platform for you. But dude, I don't know. It's I'm not touching anything. I pr I promise, dude. Yeah, I play and then, then I just I like maybe it's where I do like multiple touches at a time or something. The game just freezes. So uh, because of that, we're still giving Amazon. I'll give it an upgraded like four out of ten just because the graphics are really 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 good and there was no wait time. But yeah. Yeah, like even just running i'm not sure what it is but i'm doing something like again that just causes my touches to all of a sudden stop registering and if you're playing fortnite the enemy's not just gonna go hey okay i'm gonna stop shooting at you so those are all of the free alternatives and in my opinion i have a clear winner that being xbox but if you guys are willing to dish out some money to go play fortnite let's go check out Nvidia cloud gaming and see if it's actually worth it all right now i just had to cough up a hundred dollars because they don't have the $20 a month subscription plans anymore. So I had to pay $100 for six months of membership. So if this doesn't give me aimbot and wall hacks and a uh, thousand frames a second, I'm gonna be pretty upset. But the good thing is, looks like we don't have to wait in line anymore for a console. We can get into the rig and as you can see, it is properly sized to the aspect ratio of my tablet, which is always good to see. Okay, now this. Whoa, I was gonna say 
say feels good, dude. And it does feel really good. I mean, it's by far, as you can see, the best quality we've seen beating out Amazon Luna. And I'll just tell you right now, in terms of input delay, this thing also crushes any of the other platforms I've tried so far today. But again, $20 a month, $20 a month. Like I would never ever recommend anyone. It is my job. So it's a lot easier for me to be like, all right, time for me to make a video. I'll pay 20 bucks a month, you know, a dollar a day to play 60 cents a day to play Fortnite mobile. And if I can hit double and triple edits, uh, you know, if I'm not that washed, but the barrier to entry to play and experience this game shouldn't be requiring people to sign up for a monthly subscription that for a hundred, just go buy a game, go buy a triple a game. I don't care. Now we're going to play a game or two on the iPad because the crazy thing is I'm still getting 60 FPS on my tablet, even though it says 120. So if I use NVIDIA GeForce now on my Android tablet, I should actually be able to get 120 FPS natively through cloud gaming on my Android tablet. So I'm really excited to try that in just a moment, but I want to see on iOS, is this peak Fortnite mobile? Is it actually worth it? Could I recommend to the diehard fans $20 a month? We're going to find out. Now, I mean, of course, this is way better than when NVIDIA GeForce Now came out three years ago. But because of the way the iOS app store works and because of the way third party app stores work, like technically they NVIDIA GeForce Now is like kind of like a third party app store. So the way you actually play the games is through web streaming. And so that's why you're only ever going to be able to get like 60 FPS. And you're never getting in like peak gaming. But yeah, I can just already tell it's it's good, but it's just, I don't know. There's the inconsistencies. It's hard to put my finger on it. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's just I'm so also not used to playing with like PC level graphics on a mobile device. Like that also could very well be throwing me off a lot. But even though I'm running on like a super computer with like a GTX 4080, a $2,000 graphics card, I still feel like in these fights and in these big moments, I still have these frame stutters somehow, which is kind of crazy. Maybe that's just my placebo and I, I always think I'm lagging no matter what whoa fishy 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 dude holy crap i mean the thing is at the end of the day mobile cloud gaming you're gonna be going up against a pc player on real hardware or a console player on real hardware so you're always gonna be at a disadvantage cloud gaming and no matter how much money you spend i still could really never recommend this to anyone because again there's still input delay there's still a little lag spike it's missing something i don't know what it is so maybe hopping over to android well it'll be able to have that weird missing link and it'll click and everything will be amazing but there's only one way to find out all right here here we go. Let's get initial first impressions. Holy crap, my sensitivity is super slow. Other than that, this is pretty good. Now, I would say somehow the quality feels a little bit less than on the iPad, but still better than Xbox. But you guys need to be creative for like 90% of this video. So let's see if this $20 a month subscription can actually win me a game of Fortnite. Now, the reason I was so excited to hop on Android for this is because of the way Android works. You can actually like install an application and I'm getting 120 fps now because it is cloud gaming you know there are still some caveats and holy crap bro how about you guys but i feel like there's just so much stuff on my screen nowadays Let's see if we can't fix this okay i'm moving the mini map up a little bit i think that's literally all i could do on cloud gaming actually to help anything but i feel like cloud gaming within the Fortnite mobile space has got an unfortunate bad rap because i feel like the technology as a whole is so in innovative and really cool because it allows you to play pc or console games you might not normally have access to on the go on the couch or wherever you might be but for us for mobile players it's kind of the only way for us to play the game whereas for other gamers it just gives them another option to play a game they're already playing and for Fortnite mobile a very competitive and very technical and very mechanical game any lag any input any sort of inconsistencies with the game's performance really get highlighted and exacerbated and that's been one of the main reasons i've never really wanted to grind it and it also costs money and like i've been saying i don't know how i'd recommend a service to you all that costs money to play a freaking mobile game because there's so many good free alternatives out there that's the tart tycoon yo I haven't seen that skin in a long time all right i think i put my holy crap my look excel strength a little too low because my aim is too jittery uh oh Woo! 
wait, we're not doing too bad though. I mean, this is by far the, the best experience I've had. But again, it costs money. That just should not happen. Like if you guys want to go play cloud gaming or play Fortnite on iOS, just don't download the other old seasons. Don't download chapter two, season three, whatever it is. Just go play it on Xbox. It's a good service. It's free. There's no wait time. <laughs> and the difference between this and that is honestly not that big. What? I actually got that kill? I thought it was a glitch. Holy crap. That's weird. Oh my god. That's a pistol, bro. What am I doing? What the heck? There's no bullet drop on this. Oh, that's a bot, dude. You see the way his aim just immediately snapped up to me? Whoa, that was crazy. Where'd he go, though? There he is. Hello. Can I hit a shot? Thank you. Dude, this pistol is... N what the... What the? I know these are all bots, but like this, this isn't half bad, but at the same time, not worth 20 bucks. Hey, like just not like this is probably the same performance I would get right now on my tablet if I just went and opened up the Fortnite app. So like for some Android users, yeah, you could probably definitely get a boost in performance, but for me, not so much the case, unfortunately, probably not their target demographic per se. Ooh, okay. In the hang of things, though. I will say, that is really nice. Being able to build battle a little bit and not have to worry about... Okay, well, we are getting clapped right now. Low key. Whoa! Uh, what is happening? No, dude! I mean, I was lost in the sauce, but I wasn't... I wasn't lagging. I wasn't lagging. My my mechanics were sort of there. And as you say, it, that was nice because usually on Android, as soon as you enter a build fight, you're fighting for your life to get more than 60 FPS. That was nice to have more than 60. And now this kid thinks he's the GOAT hitting edits at 0.5 per second on average. But <laughs> to just sum up my thoughts here while we watch this obvious GOAT of our generation here, things are way different than I thought. I, I thought Nvidia GeForce Now was gonna be on top, but if you guys are looking just for a fun, free, casual experience, Xbox. But if you guys are a hardcore dedicated gamer, yes, paying an extra little bit a month. I mean, actually, it's 10 to $20 a month. You will get more customization, more features, and more performance, but it's not a huge jump. And so for 99.9% .9 of you out there, spending the money on a GeForce Now subscription will not be worth it strictly for Fortnite Mobile. So if I were you, if you're looking to cloud game, Xbox is the way to go. And honestly, I learned something new today, but for me, I still think we're gonna stick to Android native gaming. It's just what works best for me but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video as always if you did, don't forget to drop a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't already catch you guys in the next one deuces